The Miku Library has over the years undergone necessary transformation that will allow it to provide services to its clientele through programs that build literacy through the use of modern technology. New technological devices provided to the institution over the years have disappeared due to theft, leaving residents of the community without the necessary platforms that will help bridge the digital divide. It is for this reason the Ministry of Education saw it fitting to replace those stolen devices in order to ensure that literacy programs under the Transforming Lives through Early Literacy Project can be resuscitated. Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, who spoke at the handing over ceremony at the Miku Library this week, registered the Ministry's commitment to ensuring St. Lucians receive the training required in the use of information and computer technology. As a government and as a ministry, we are big on the incorporation of ICT or technology in education delivery. And for us, education is not what happens within the confines of a classroom in a school building. We believe in lifelong learning. We believe in education where people can acquire knowledge and skills at every turn in the society. So for those persons, who are not of school age, they too can come to the library facility on an afternoon, on a weekend, after hours, um, basically to enrich themselves, to broaden their knowledge base, and to acquire information that would cause them to be more effective citizens in society. The minister says government is committed to the reintroduction of the laptop program to secondary schools that will ensure students at that level are not just able to use new technologies, but will be provided with devices required to efficiently undertake their studies. We have given the populace the assurance that the children of St. Lucia will not be left behind as the global education community undergoes changes and it modernizes itself. Our children will not be left behind. We are now at a stage in our development as a country where a laptop or a tablet is no longer a luxurious item. But instead, it is a necessity that will facilitate the education process. Member of Parliament for Mikunov, Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, while thanking the Ministry and the New Zealand Government for the new items, called on constituents who use the library to take care of the new devices and to safeguard them from being stolen. We also like to thank the New Zealand Fund for ensuring that they made this possible in the first place. And as you know, we are a government that puts people first. We understand the importance of such devices, especially given the COVID environment and the challenges brought about by the COVID environment. So we know that this will go a long way in not just assisting, but continuing what has been started. And I know that the librarians look forward to receiving these donations. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles, says the ministry recognizes the need for community libraries to have the necessary devices required to conduct modern programs and pledged the ministry's continued support to this institution and others like it on the island. But we recognize at the Ministry of Education the importance of this initiative, the Transforming Lives and Early Learners Program. We know that it impacts significantly our pre-K students, kindergarten and grade one students. But not only will these devices be used for this demographic, but we note too that our persons within the Miku North constituency regularly come to the, to, the, to the library and use these devices. The Miku Library, with the help of the new devices, will be able to design and implement programs as a supplementary resource for formal instruction. They will also be able to train volunteers to assess and instruct students in various literacy skills and also train parents to work with their children to reinforce the skills already learned. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.